was a kid, and now I do street art, and now I'm doing street art on the side of a train. <laughs> supposed to be 3%, ideal breakfast and working cider, but in fact he left it a bit long, it's gone up to 4%, so we'll have to see how it goes with the uh, breakfast and the working. I'm willing to give it a go and so are the crew. In fact they're looking very thirsty right now. Welcome to my world of the Garbage Adventure Playground. So we have a sort of like the ball pit that you get in children's adventure playgrounds. We've made a pit out of rubbish um, with a sort of a heinous slide covered in razor blades and knives that you can kind of ride down into. My name is Pure Evil. I do street art and graffiti and I run Pure Evil Gallery in London. I'm forever going on picking trips and finding old road signs and kind of turning them into art. So you take junk and you make it into art and through making things into art, you can basically change people's points of view. This is the, uh, the merry-go-round with a bicycle wheel on top. And so this, as it catches the wind, this will naturally just rotate. We're not trying to make fine art, we're just trying to have fun with the whole idea and make it so that you've basically got visual candy as you're coming in, you can kind of check it out. My art is about recycling. I'd rather not go and buy a, a brand new piece of wood and then use that, I'd rather go to a skip and build something from that. Yeah, my name's Paul Insect. I work from London, 47, too old to be doing this in the sun. It's an important field at Glastonbury because it's art-based and it's installation-based and it's just about trying to raise awareness for the next generation, the young kids that are coming here and just put it in their faces really because these days most people just stick it in a waste bin and don't think about where it's going after that. It's not about the music, it's, it's about education as well. Places in the world where water shortages and they're losing out to people like Coca-Cola are siphoning off rivers and lakes and they're using it for their own products and or selling bottled water back to people that have nothing. It's a massive brand impacting so many people around the world. But my name's Carl Clashman. I spend most of my time in the studio on my own, so it's just any any opportunity to come out like this is just has to be taken really. Gonna say no, 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 no. I don't know how many hundreds of posters we've got, but it would take a long time to say how many no's we've got. But what we're gonna do, this is gonna be an evolving artwork while, while the festival's on. We're gonna replace it with uh, similar style posters, but they say things like maybe, whatever, I don't give a fuck, that kind of thing. Uh, and then, then on Saturday, we're going positive with yes. You know, against my better judgment to start with, because I'm quite a depressed sort of person. Hi, are you alright? Yeah, yeah we just want them. <laughs> okay, we're just beginning all these away for free. Really? Right, 11 o'clock tonight, so if you want to pop back. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. This was originally an oblique comment about the nature of political engagement in this country, and I was happily proved completely wrong by the election result, by all of the young people actually getting out and voting the Tories out as much as we possibly could. I think the art that a lot of people down here do, because we're not so much tied in with the gallery system and tied in with making money through art managers and art leaders, is a lot more honest and truthful than lots of other types of art. And the fact that this isn't a music festival, you know, we have 180 odd thousand people, it's not in a gallery or not in a museum. Oh, hello, uh, my name's Ben Iron, international street artist. <laughs> Let's see, darling, would you get me another one of those alcoholic beverages? The strong one, please. Truth in several different languages, and the truth is always hidden. It's something you just
just have to, you have to dig for it. Day jobs, but we're all here. We all have that one thing in common. We just want to have it until the sun comes up. <laughs> 